another supplier just because they had more colors of sweatshirts and stuff. They are a lot more expensive, but it's nice to have two options when one runs out, I guess. They got this sweatshirt. Oh, they look really nice. It's as thick as the one that I have. Um, but they are still really warm. But yeah, they had more colors like this beige one has more cotton. This one has more cotton percentage than the ones that I have. They are a little thicker than this ones, but I really like the quality of these two. I have a few designs that I wanted to try with a beige one. Oh, it's not focusing. Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to another video. Um, I'm actually doing my first ever convention um, and it's outside of my country, which is kind of crazy. Not only being my first convention, but yeah, it's going to be a huge trip, a huge investment, not only in products, but also on like traveling, um, you know, staying there and, and all of that. It's going to be in Sevilla and I'm going to participate in Manga Fest. Yeah, I'm really excited about it, but really nervous. I only have like two weeks to prepare right now when I'm speaking to you I only have one week left so yeah I order a bunch of socks tote bags clothing and all of that to prepare for that and I'm going to take you along with me like making off the products how I'm organizing how I'm thinking about you know stock um, and all of that yeah it's going to be crazy I can't wait to film everything and take you along with me so let's get ready <laughs> Please ignore the mess, but I've been feeling, filming a little bit of my preparation, so I already got all of these tote bags ready. I have no idea how much stock to take. Basically, I did a market a week ago or something like that, and I only took two of these Harry Potter ones, and they sold out like immediately, so I'm going to take 10 of these. And then I'm going to take five of all the other designs that I know that sell well on markets and stuff. I also need to stock uh, notebooks, postcards, sticker packs. I'm really low on sticker packs. I'm still not sure if I'm going to take notepads or not. Then I also started to print some of these to make socks. I already have a few done, but I'm going to take a lot more. These um, and the cottage ones are the ones that sell best in market, so I'm going to take 10 of each. And I got these socks, I got these tote bags to do still, and then also try to ignore that part. But I have a full box of clothing to try out. I still need to send out the printing because now I use this type of printing to decide what to print and the quantity, like for the clothing, I have no idea since it's the first time that I'm doing that. But for all the markets, basically every time I do a market, I have uh, notes on my phone of all the things that I sell. And also I, host, I need to figure out a better way to do that because when it's busy, it's really hard for me to be on my phone and, you know, um, writing everything that i'm selling at the moment so maybe i'll bring a notebook or a spreadsheet or something like that but i have notes on my phone and what i basically did it's i wrote everything on like a piece of paper here i basically have divided by products and by themes and i wrote it down everything that i sold so I know the socks that sell the best are the planet ones and the um, cottage ones that I know that I'll probably need to do more stock of the certain things that I sell best and then less stock of the other things. And at least I have this to, you know, try to figure that out. But it's always a surprise. Every market, the audience is different. So some patterns will sell better than others. Because, yeah, it's going to be a big, big investment for me. Especially right now where when things are a little scary. But we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. Let's do some products. <laughs> It's only 6 p.m. but it's already super dark in here right now. Um, it's sticker pack prepping day. I also made a bunch of socks, but my, oh my God, but my memory card was like getting some weird issues. So I couldn't film any of it. I'm so, so sorry. Um, but I'll show you once the light, it's a little bit better what I did so far. But yeah, let's go on with the noise and the silhouette and sticker packs. <laughs>
actually Monday now. And I went to grab my my DTF printing. Look at this chunky boy. It's really sunny. Hopefully everything looks okay. Let's open them and let's print some t-shirts. But first I have a bunch of sticker sheets to cut. now Tuesday I'm getting ready to print the sweatshirts and t-shirts I went and cut all of these these come in a roll as I showed you before so I basically just cut them so it's so make it easier then I have this smaller ones to put in like t-shirts and stuff um, I'm going to make it like this and I do the cuttings myself so basically where I print the maximum um, that they can print it for 23 on this direction I can't remember my brain is not working because I'm so tired <laughs> I already tried this one out yesterday and I absolutely love it I think this is my favorite so far and it looks super cute more spaced out it's not a big different from if I pressed like directly but it looks a lot better <laughs> I think so yeah I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to print some more I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'm going to print all of these because sweaters and all of these things occupy a lot of space and I'm not sure if I have space for everything. I'm also mounting notebooks in here. The floor is just a huge mess. Um, I'm still cutting sticky sheets. This is the amount I've cut so far. Um, I have an headache because of the silhouette. I'm just finishing up and I just have two more to cut. I'm so happy. I'm also printing some more notebook cover and this is the state of things right now. Looks like a mess, oh my God, help. get one of those that go up and not on the side I definitely need to get a new one and a bigger one because this one makes everything go so much slower and now this broke to show you these new tags and I print so many and I made a misspelling I forgot the S after the U but a mess 
um, I did the same for the notebooks and then I also printed a bunch of these size things I printed some in white for the color shirts and some in gray for the I'm going to keep one of these for myself I was just finishing editing this video and I realized that I don't really talk much about the um, convention that I went to um, so I did a convention in Sevilla I did manga fest um, it was actually quite fun to go to like such a big event <laughs> Uh, but it was so so tiring um, yeah we went by bus my boyfriend went with me to help me out with like setting everything up um, and you know just keep me company and so that I can take breaks to go to like the bathroom and stuff if we do conventions and you go alone you know how hard it can be I felt super fancy because my name was in there um, we had like a table and we could use the back wall which was kind of overwhelming i'm used to only have one table so we stay there for like three or four hours mounting and still trying to decide how i would set up everything you can see over here but you're going to see from the footage where i filmed like the whole table set up the lighting was so different like the back wall had a lot of lighting and you could see the products very well and then the table parts it was really dark um and yellow it was really awful and then like the mix of the two was so weird because the back wall was like this very uh, white light and then the front of the table was yellow and since like the major of the light uh, was on the back if I would hang anything on the table at front it will look really weird because you know it'll be against the light so we had the day before and the morning of the start of the event to mount um, and we actually went to Ikea to get some lights because yeah it was really dark I think you can see some little lights in there um, just to try to help a little bit so people could notice the products um, and yeah we also got a rack f to put the clothes because I didn't figure out that I had enough space. Like if I only had one or two designs, it would be okay. But I had several designs in several colors. So I want to put everything on display so people could choose, especially because I didn't have like several sizes of each design. So the rack was the best thing. So it was actually two and a half days. On Friday, it was only half day. And then it was Saturday and Sunday, the full day. Sunday was slightly better. Than the other days but i feel it was really really quiet i only made like the table money the travel and the staying there like the accommodation um so yeah i basically just cover the expenses it was a lot of people but not a little a lot of people were buying things and maybe this is just not my kind of crowd this is how we left the table overnight by the way as you can see from this footage i was just sitting down there was not much going on um, sometimes people will stop by the table but most of the times people just passed by and didn't care um, it was really tricky because it was like in Spain and I'm from Portugal so I speak Portuguese um, I speak a little bit of Spanish but it was still quite tricky because sometimes people wouldn't even realize that I didn't spoke if it was like a basic conversation but every time uh, I would have to speak more some people will just run away which is quite quite sad but yeah next time i'll be more prepared for that i was able to walk around a little bit after um, before 
dismounting everything. I kind of forgot to film the dismounting, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the footage from the convention and let's go back to the studio vlog. If you have any questions, let me know and I'm going to try to do a video all about that. I'm back and Bia from the past left the studio a mess, let me show you. First of all, this floor is disgusting. Then I left everything on the table. I even have some oil here <laughs> because my press with doing the shirts and everything starts to have some issues. Oh my God, everything is on the floor here. I have things everywhere. That table, it's kind of okay, <laughs> but I have a lot of trash everywhere my bag oh god there's basically stuff everywhere i really need to get on with doing this sending some orders and unpacking let's go it's cleaner my mind feels a lot more free i'm so sorry about my face it's now oh i can't even think tuesday is it tuesday um and i arrived yesterday we arrived around 6 p.m then we still had to put the bags here in the studio there's no elevator here and the bags are really heavy so it was a mess to bring them upstairs and then we went to drop our bags at home and then we came to pick up alex from a friend's house uh which is my kitten if you don't know that yet um so yeah, everything was a mess. I only curled up in the couch at like 8 p.m. So yeah, I'm super, super tired, but I still wanted to come back here to drop some orders that I couldn't do it um, last week. Put the studio a little cleaner so I can come back here tomorrow and start working with a fresh mindset. So yeah, let's unpack and yeah, there's a lot of things. I was really hoping to not come with such heavy bags, but it didn't go as I expected, but I'll chat with you tomorrow once I can form more complete sentences and think a lot better. <laughs> film it because we were so tired and panicking and all that but I actually went to Ikea in Sevilla because I thought I was going to have space to put my sweaters and I didn't and the lighting was so bad so I went there to get some lights and this hanger 
but I'm actually going to use it for something very exciting that's going to happen in December and to store my clothing. So win-win. <laughs> Next time I'm definitely going by car, even if it's more expensive and tiring, but going around with the bags was a mess and this and our backpacks, it was too much. <laughs> She tape until I restock them. Poor thing. <laughs> I've been quite busy, I still haven't chat with you. I've been preparing the pre-orders from Steve. But anyway, this week I have something really exciting happening. I'm doing an open studio here on this studio and I'm transforming them, the smaller one next door into a pop-up shop just for one week, the week before Christmas. And I'm so excited, but today it's Friday um, and I'm going to open the pop-up shop tomorrow. I still have to paint one of the walls because it still has that ugly yellow thing on top. And then I have to set up everything. I have to pick up some vinyls and let's set everything up. I'm so excited and scared and oh, because one of the things that I'm most worried about is I'm going to have people on the studio, if people show up, of course. <laughs> I'm going to have people on the studio because it's an open studio tomorrow and then I'm going to have people on the other studio because the shop will be on the other one. By the way, I'm not going to do the shop this in this one because I don't have the authorization for that. I can only use this space as an office and nothing else, but on the other shop, I can use it as a shop. So, I'm nervous. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's paint. I think first of all, I'm actually going to take out 
the photo lights and all that so I have more space in here. So I basically wanted one of these things to put downstairs, but they were super expensive. So basically I got this one from Ikea. The ones I've seen online, like for shops and stuff, were like 100 euros, 150, and this was like 25, I think. So yeah, I got two vinyls. I went to pick them up during the afternoon and I'm going to put one on each side and then yeah I can put these ones on the street not perfect but <laughs> it looks nice yay almost done so I'm going home and I'll finish tomorrow I still have so many stuff to do but yeah I'll catch up with you tomorrow hi it's now the next day just had to close the door otherwise I feel too self-conscious that someone might appear but yeah a few weeks ago I went to a local flea market and I found this thing this used to be like a CD displayer kind of thing and I thought it would be cool to take them out to market to put like notebooks and all of that so that's what I'm going to do I wanted to paint it because orange it's really not my thing but I didn't have the time because you know there's always something more important to do but yeah that's what I'm going to use it and I think it's looking cute this is how it's looking so far then I'm going to have more stock on the back there um, and like my things and then the clothes will be here this will be by the window so people can see some products and then here I'm going to have another hanger uh, with totes bags and all of that it still looks like a mess I might have to put some cubes like this also on display here with some more tote bags and maybe shirts and all of that but yeah it's looking like something <laughs>
hi it's monday now i have the pop-up shop still open um next door i'm feeling a little bit self-conscious talking to the camera because i have all doors open um it's not going very well like not a lot of people are showing up this doesn't have a direct access to the streets i've put a poster uh down saying that the pop-up shop it's on the first floor there's not a lot of people coming and when they do they go up the stairs and then they see it's just one shop and they get too um, embarrassed to go in so they just look around and it just run away um, when I have both doors open so I'm basically working um, and then if someone appears I'll just come say hi and this is how I have the door open I have the shop over there and I can see if people come in so yeah <laughs> anyway let's go to work to show you i also printed some flyers that i'm going to leave around town on like the normal coffee shops and all of that that i go so maybe that will bring people in so yeah i'm going to be open this week and also saturday morning like the um, christmas eve so we'll see about that you know something called a film model a film filming inception <laughs> papel é boi nice. É que eu que uso. <laughs> oh, não. É qual? O da capa? Yeah. É bem macinho. Ah, não, não, não é o outro. Eu posso dar. Mas é, é muito fixe. nice. Só muito lindo. Fiz umas pisinhas lá por dentro, mas depois o papel é muito fofo. Yeah, são boi fofos. Ai, mas o papel é muito smooth. Yeah. Muito fixe. Ah, mais small notes. Fofo. <laughs> <laughs> Tem muito, obrigada. Yay! E agora não os vou usar para nada durante dois anos porque vou ter demasiada pena para os usar. Não, não é nada. Por exemplo, é que deu. the display a little bit because I wanted to add some mugs. I normally don't take mugs to markets but here it's right next to each other so I can do them and I also bought another of these things to display my leather sets and stuff. I also added more products and some more decorations. So, so cute. I'm really proud of it. A girl also asked me if I sold one of these so I might have to start doing them as prints and i still haven't showed you this corner it's how it looks right now but i had a friend uh, here and she's going to display some products in here she make them in the studio so she has some prints bookmarks notebooks and all of that and i'm going to leave her links in the description it looks so pretty i love that pink one pop-up shop, it's officially closed. <laughs> Bye! I'm still coming next week to <laughs> take all of this out and transform it into a studio again, but yay! It was really nice. <laughs> it's now December 24th. Um, I'm pooped. I'm so, so tired. I'm going to go home. I think I'm going to take a nap in the afternoon and then I'm going to get ready for Christmas Eve, eat a lot and rest up with you next week. Now I need to rest a little. Hi, it's a long time later. Actually, it's the next year. Happy New Year. Uh, it's now 
the 3rd of January. I wanted to come here and chat about all the things that have been going on. Um, like I ended up having a kind of a break from YouTube, like November and December were a little bit crazy. I did my first convention and even though it didn't went very well, um, I still have a great time in there. And then I came back and a week later, I was opening my pop-up shop as you saw from this video. Um, it was such a nice experiment. Like I'm used to doing marketing and all of that but it's really different to have like a table than to have like a whole space where you can personalize everything and put it at your taste but seeing like a shop coming a reality with my products it has been so so nice and i realized that i didn't even have enough enough space to put all my products in display in the middle of the week i was actually thinking mm, am i ready to open a shop then but then in like the last days i was like oh my god this is so so tiring something that i really want to see for me down the line i really want to have a physical shop where i can chat to people especially because i spend all week in here alone and it has been really nice to you know interact with people um stop working for it a little bit go over there chat a little and that has been really really nice but sometimes i really wanted to just like some days just sit in my little um corner and just be by myself so yeah i'm really i feel like i'm really not ready for that step yet next year i might do a little bit of a more I don't know investment kind of thing and maybe try to rent a space on the street uh, where i have access to the street but we'll see because not a lot is out of focus because i think not a lot of people will accept renting a space for just one month but we'll see it was a nice experiment it worked very well even though it was not a good spot so yeah overall i'm quite happy with that and it makes me happy that a shop might be a possibility in the future. It's a new year, I'm not going to chat about goals or anything like that because I'm trying not to think too much about it. I just know that I want to keep doing this, I want to keep focusing on, on the shop, but also trying to find time to for other products and client work and children books. Yeah, I can't wait to do more videos that I can look back and see how much I improved and grown and all of that. So yeah, I'm excited about it all. I hope you guys are too. Um, yeah, I just want to chat a bit and yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Um, sorry if it was a little bit all over the place. I feel here and there. But hopefully you enjoyed seeing me mounting the pop-up shop. Thank you so much for being here. Happy New Year, guys. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Bye.